In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create badges. The first thing you need to do to create it is to go down to your Course Tools section and click on Achievements. That will bring you to this page where you then have a drop-down menu to create an achievement. We're going to pick Custom for this one. You have to give your achievement a name. So we're going to call this one Badge Sample. The achievement location we can decide by browsing through the course. I'm going to associate this badge with a test. It will be visible to students before receiving, so they'll see what's out there in front of them. If we have Yes checked off, if you don't want them to see what's coming, you can click no and here you will put your description of the badge and the next step is to define the triggers that will enable someone to get the badge we're going to call this rule rule number one it can be set to open at a specific date can be given to specific users. This is how we're going to use it in this course. I can browse the users in the course and give them a badge upon review of the work. You can also decide to do it based on a grade. So if you look in the Grade Center column, you can pick user has at least one attempt, the score is greater than or equal to 95, or whatever grade you choose. It can be based on review status if you use adaptive release rules. And then the next step is to check the reward that we're going to pick. So for course completion, you have certificates. For our purposes, we're going to focus on badges. I'm going to pick this badge right here. The issuer is going to be Hofstra Test University, which is a sample name that we have in our test environment. You can choose to publish this to Mozilla to the backpack, which we'll get to a little later in the course. But for right now, this is good. If you wanted to upload your own badge, you can browse your computer and upload a, a picture file from there, in which case that picture would then show up here and you can select it. I'm going to click Submit. The formatting is a little off in the test environment right now. This should be cleaned up when we're ready to go, but now you have the badge there. So anybody who wanted to earn this badge, I could simply go in and grant them permission to um, have that badge.